his basket of offerings grows tomorrow a big car tomorrow america where europe australia after that he now wants political power he wants to go to parliament he is now quitting the very boss who raised him he is going to another boss because there is now more money and political power haven't we seen it in kenya yes. didn't the lord send me to rebuke it yes. so when the jewish young man goes to his father with the scroll the father says wow he reads you've got your bride that's very good only the father from that day on only the father knows the day of the wedding the mother does not know the young man will never know but in the jewish culture that is the day that the father now begins to take the boy in the evenings you find the father walking out no let's leave let the, your mother and the rest at home prepare the dinner i want to walk with you can you accompany me I want to, let's walk through this road no the man begins to walk with his son during that time telling him you know you are soon going to be a mature man now you are not a child anymore you know and you know now you need to prepare a place for your bride you know you know this land here beginning from here do you have always wanted to give to you this you see that beginning from here i've always kept it for you because i thought that if you could build yours on this side then you, you mind since i'm here and still we have enough room for the crop on this side so so this i've always kept this for you in my heart this is the area i always wanted to give you so you can build here so you also with your wife may have a place you see that my son i did not want to leave you in nobody's hands that's why i took care of this i knew that such a time would arrive and the son would begin to build the son has changed his behavior now he is building is preparing the father is giving him tips you know my son you know you always have to maintain you know the bedroom always belongs to the wife you see that don't always quarrel the kitchen belongs to your wife don't always be there he's training him to mature preparing him for the bride you see that the guests always belong to the wife she's the one always to take care of the guests don't get involved in those little things you just be with the guest you know in the jewish culture and i thought it was a joke when i was there i did not know god was training me to talk to you people nobody knows the day or the hour of the wedding even the year the jewish man keeps it as a secret but the season of the wedding is known everybody in israel knows the wedding season when the new crop is being harvested and the new wine is being brewed you see that when the new wine is entering the wine jars the old wine is out the new crop has come has entered the barns now the wine is new that is the season you begin to hear weddings are taking place in the village so the season is known by all it is summer it is harvest time there is no rain but the wine is stronger is newer hallelujah <coughs> that is the anointing of god the latter anointing the power of the anointing of such a time as this Hallelujah. <coughs> the anointing is mighty at this time. Somebody everybody can feel something has changed. The wine is too strong. People are operating under the influence of the new wine. People are just happy. There is so much joy going on, no? Hmm? <coughs> Brightness has come. You see? The winter has gone. Hmm? but before the wedding the jewish man the husband always sends some people to the bride to investigate her lest we marry lest we be related you see that 
we might bring a girl who is related to this boy. And that's abomination. You see that? Lest we find that this is actually a daughter to an aunt. Because this boy just went out there and found a girl. They go out there. They, now he sends somebody to spy. A few people, maybe one or two. Find out the gene genealogy. Under which door does she come? Which, which clan? Which tribe? Is this from Ephraim? Benjamin? Hmm? Is it from God? Get some details, you know? Number two. Find out, is that a woman worthy of entering this home? You understand? They are very particular of who is added to their homes. That's why in the Jewish settings, you find them always exclusive in their own, you know? In Nairobi, they maintain their synagogue there, you know? Just a small Jewish community. Among other things, you want to find out whether she's, she's worth coming to this home. Find out, has she been faithful out there to my son who is waiting faithfully here? And then the spy will find out, is she with somebody? You see that? then that day, you just cut it. If she has breached that contract of that wine they drank, it is cut. The man will say, ah, my son, my son, I'll find for you another. You see that? <laughs> and then finally, when time is almost, the father now sends one messenger to visit the home. Now to come to the home, not to investigate out, to come to the home. Hey, where are you from? Where has the journey removed you from? That's how they put it. Where has the journey gotten you from? Yes, I'm coming from far. Uh, from so and so's family. Isn't that close to the family where, you know? Yes, they are the ones who have sent me. They say now things are going to get ready. They feel like they are ready. You see that? They are ready now. So um, they feel they wanted you people to prepare, you know, because now they are ready for the wedding. Any time it will happen now. You see that? He sends a messenger. That is Matthew 22. After my friends wedded, I need to finish this. After my friends wedded, the day of the wedding came, puff, they wedded. There are many things in the wedding we don't need to share here. I've published these things so it may help the church. In the wedding, the peak of the wedding ceremony is when they are dancing, 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 and they crush a glass. The man has to jump up holding the, 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 bride, the bride, jump up and crush, they put a glass, and crush a glass with his feet. That is what you see in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 to 56. In fact, that is almost 56 itself, verse 56. When he says, now death has been crushed. Your sting has been taken away. You'll never touch my bride again. That is the symbolism that was happening. That's why I said our Lord came from the Jewish community. <coughs> you like it or not?